Shall we say slightly different shade of yellow and the refer the officials are wearing black shorts. And the other officials today are uh, referee Paul O'Neill, system referee Olivia Snade and Connor Harkin, and the fourth official is Daniel Murphy. You know, it's just about containing them early on. Sean um, um, McCarthy. uh, McCarthy's long through ball has been charged down. Uh, an attempted clearance by Eid Bagdana was charged down there and it was the first real chance of the game for Cork City. Yeah, I think Christina Jane probably has to. And it's knocked back to Abby McCarthy to start the ball rolling again, in a manner of speaking. McCarthy finds Casson. Casson finds Walsh. Walsh is sending it long into midfield. And a long pass is, is sent into the, into the uh, right wing channel for Liston to run onto. Now there's a couple of options for, for Sophie Liston in the box. But she knocks it back to Murphy and she gets it back again. Liston to Murphy. Murphy sends it out to Casson. It's with Shauna McCarthy and she sends it forward. It's found by Mangan. Mangan knocks it back. City still in possession, long range effort, and Badana gets down low to save it. Of course, Eve Badana had a spell with uh, Cork City when she was based down there. Good shot from Sarah McCann. Doyle finds Malone, Monol finds Donnelly, Donnelly finds Pryor, <coughs> but it's cut out by Sophie Liston. Into the path of Christina Dring. We were talking last week at the Shelbourne P Mount match about Noonan's. Uh, ability as a jewel star good save from Badana there and there's a clash of bodies make that in time Eve Badana knocks it back down towards Shauna Carroll Carroll in the left wing berth sends a cor across across to the far post but it's uh, gathered by Kira McNamara a little bit too much hesitation again. there Declan from Kira McNamara yeah probably should have just put a foot through the first time you know you look and see is there anybody around you just get rid of the ball as you know but Cork City have done well to, to break free again Eva Mangan knocks the ball in for Sarah McEver to run into on the left wing. Sarah's cross into the centre. Oh, what a miss. And it will be a goal kick to the so DLR Waves. That is a real chance. And right down the throat, metaphorically speaking, of Abby McCarthy, who will throw the ball out long to Kirkir McNamara. It's sent into the channel for Sophie Liston to run onto. Liston looking for McEvitt McEvitt fires from the oh the what a chance and hits the right up right and that was a golden opportunity for Cork City to get on the score she, she was going to throw the ball into originally except Becky Casson but Casson's short pass is, is uh, <laughs> taken up by Letman and back on the Cork City side again but look, how, long. look how quick they're just trying to change the play there yeah. Cork City Shauna Carroll comes away with it now for the DLR Waves. The long range effort. Oh, what a save. A brilliant save by Abby McCarthy, and it'll be a corner to the DLR Waves on their forward. Was Murphy trying the lace as well? A bit of uh, professionalism there to, uh, displayed. Headed back by Gleason and just past the far post. In, it'll be a goal kick to Cork City. You can hear there, John Sullivan. Something silly. Literally three minutes to go. Any further news from P-Mount? Yeah, last I seen there was uh, was P-Mount United two, P-Mount United two uh, Bohemians nil. Uh, looks as though play play has stopped at the moment. Megan Smith Lynch is down with it. Oh, and it's a goal! It's a goal from substitute Kira Marr.